Hello everyone and welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. We have just determined that our client is really a forger. And of course this is a big shock because everybody thought that the victim was the one who was committing forgeries. Not our client. So this is basically the longest she's ever talked to us. Oh, oh, come on. We were just about to resolve the question of the poison stamp. Yes, the three pictures were all pictures of Apollo's cases. So her father was basically stalking Apollo. Wow. And it's because of Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wright somehow plays into this. So maybe it's a good thing that Hobo Phoenix is working behind the scenes and working through Apollo rather than working out in the open because apparently he's got stalkers. Who was he? Why? Whoa, 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 he was not Apollo's, uh, father. Yeah, way too confusing. Vera seems frightened of Prosecutor Gavin.
Yeah, well, nobody would believe that just a little girl was making forgeries, right? Yes, we need more information, so let's hear some testimony. Testimony from the witness who is very shy and has trouble speaking. Hopefully this means it will be a really short testimony. Because I'm pretty sure the way to get through this testimony is by pressing every single statement. A letter? A fingerprint? I didn't know she could forge fingerprints. Wow, so she probably was forging evidence for evil attorneys. Thank you. 
She's gonna say no, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that means no. Okay, so it's just a complete coincidence that she wanted to save the stamp. She had no idea it was poison. Alright, so this is the final statement of the testimony. I'm going to press it like I pressed every other statement. Okay, so we get a new statement added to the testimony. A new statement about the stamp. This is the brand new statement. It's a picture of her favorite magicians. And what magicians are those? Those magicians are no one other than the Grammaries. Or Troop Grammary, I suppose I should say. Yeah, what's up, Clavier? No, do not ask why, just answer the question! Clavier is freaking out, man. I mean, seriously, what's wrong, Clavier? So she likes some magicians. Whatever. This is weird. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. So, Pat. So, the book belonged to one of the grammaries or something? What does Hobo Phoenix have to do with this?
No, we've only gotten hints of that trial. Well, hold on a second. Are you saying Hobo Phoenix paid her to forge evidence? So he could win a trial? No way! Phoenix would never do anything like that! Would he? Okay, well, we will talk to Hobo Phoenix after the trial. Are we going to ask her now? Whatever. Okay, I want to hear the answer. Was it Prosecutor Gavin? He was the prosecutor for that case, right? Excuse me? What just happened? Vera was poisoned? Wait, what? And that's the end of the trial. Right, this is real Phoenix, not Hobo Phoenix. And the prosecutor was Clavier. Oh, hey, and it's little Trucy. Oh. So that's what she looked like seven years ago. Wow. Well, this is interesting. 